Lucas, six games to play of the League One season, 40 all gone, and you've got six games to save yourselves. Yeah. Just how important are they all now? Um, I don't think we have to say how important they are because everyone knows. Uh, um, the situation we're in at the moment um, speaks for itself and um, every game is, is a must win um, or at least get something for it. Um, so the, the spirit we need for every game is, um, is through the roof, to be honest. Um, and we need to yeah, get points on the board because, um, as you said, it's, um, it's basically life or death uh, whether we're going to stay in League One or not. Do you sort of relish this? Six game period, it brings the best out of everyone, I'd imagine. It, it does, it have to, it have to. Everyone know what, what situation we're in and, and what we have to give to get points. Um, so every game we play is, is equally important, whether it's uh, Sheffield Wednesday or the last game of the season against Oxford or Cambridge before that. So every game is equally important. What did you make of the Easter results Friday and Monday? Um, so it was a very good win against Port Vale. Um, it was very lovely to win that one. First of all, the weather was lovely, and then to get three points as well is, is definitely what we needed. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game um, against Sheffield Wednesday, and, and that showed on the pitch as well. Um, we, we gave it a good shot. Um, to be honest, we conceded some some cheap goals, if you ask me, um, and something we can't afford in the situation. Um, but if we limit our mistakes, uh, that will probably give us the best outcome um, at the end. So hopefully we can do that for the last six games now. Just give us an idea of what it's been like for you in recent weeks. You've been in the side, you've been suspended. You've been in the side, you've been suspended. It, yeah. it must have been difficult. Yeah, first of all, I have to say sorry to all the fans for, for doing what I did. Um, it, was, it was below my standard, definitely. Um, but again, I've been very happy to be back in the team and, and I want to give everything I can for for the team and the club as well. Um, so as I said, it's been like kind of like a roller coaster in and out um, throughout the season and especially the last, will that be eight games, eight, ten games. Um, but again, like for, for me to play the amount of games I'm doing, I'm very happy for that um, and grateful for it. Um, and hopefully I can, can give it the best shot for the last six ones. When it happened the second time, Lucas, just... What was going through your mind when you um, saw the red card being shown? I bet you couldn't believe it, could you? No, I couldn't. I couldn't because it's the exact same situation and it was very poor for me, um, to be honest. That's something that shouldn't shouldn't happen. Um, sometimes it's the life of a footballer um, that you make mistakes and um, I'm certainly part of that. Um, and that, sh that showed in the game and I think my reaction showed enough to say that I was um, very annoyed um, that it happened once and then it happened twice. That's, that's something that, sh that shouldn't happen, basically. And again, um, again, it's below my standard, but I, I'm, I'm sure I'll come back from it. And, and we showed against Port Vale, and I showed against Port Vale that it was just a one-off, um, that, that something like that won't happen again. Yeah. Are, are you your own biggest critic? Because the, these things are a split-second thing that can happen to you, aren't they? Once you make a decision as a goalkeeper yeah. to come for something, you can quite easily arrive a second early or a fraction of a second late. That's very, that's very true, that's very true. It's, it's something you have to decide within, well, as you said, a, a second. And if you make the wrong decision, something like that happens. Um, and unfortunately, I did it twice in, in two games. Um, but again, hopefully I've had uh, many more decisions that, that go my way um, and make the right decision. So the best outcome will be. And if you look throughout the season, I've had many through balls where I've got there before the striker. Um, so to have two it's obviously not great, um, but hopefully uh, we will get through them together. And has it been nice for you lately to see more defenders being fit to play again or, or free from suspension? Well, it's been, a, it's been a very strange season. I think everyone can agree on that because um, the amount of injuries, suspensions we've had, it's, so it's never been kind of the same team playing throughout the season. Um, and I think we struggle a little bit with that. Um, especially when, especially as a goalkeeper, you want the same back four, back five in front of you, so you know them um, as best as you can. But when you got suspension and injuries, um, it's kind of tough to build a relationship. But we, we worked with it and um, we show when when we do play well, we play really well. Um, and, and everyone can defend. And if there's injuries, it's a good chance for someone else to show that they should be in a team, uh, team instead. Um, same for me, when I was out of the team, um, I did what I could to, to show that I should be the one playing. And um, luckily, I'm the one playing now. And, and um, the last six games will, um, will, hopefully, will hopefully show that. Got to ask you about Burnley as well. I mean, how much pleasure have you taken from watching your parent club play this season? Because they've been absolutely sensational, haven't they? Oh, they've been brilliant. Um, I watched a few games with them, and um, the way they play is, is uh, 
something I didn't thought I would see um, in this preseason because um, going from Premier League to Championship is obviously always always difficult and. There was a few critics that said, oh, Burnley will go straight to League One. Um, and some others said, oh, they'll go back to, to Premier League. So, so they showed the, the positive side of it. Um, and Vincent had done then an unbelievable good job. Um, brought in loads of players and brought a new playing style. Um, and it's a, it's a different Burnley now. Um, I never thought I would see Burnley playing playing out from the back the way they do at the moment. Um, but it's certainly working. If you, I think it's the only undefeated team at home. Uh, in the top five leagues, so um, that just shows for itself. So um, it's been a, it's been a good joy seeing Burnley being back in Premier League, and obviously for myself, it's um, it's very positive to see that. And once these six games are done, do you then have a conversation with Burnley for for the future for you? Um, I think I always do. I'm out of contract in the summer, so it's a it's an ongoing conversation. What will happen? Um, I still don't know um, anything at all. Um, so I'm enjoying my time at Accrington. Um and, and if the case is I'm out of contract, um, I, I believe, um, and that, and that's why I wanna wanna show what I can do in League One, and and I will always be grateful for the opportunity I've got here, because without the opportunity I would have been a different place. So um, especially thanks to to the gaff and all the staff that they've actually given me the opportunity to show that I'm a, that I'm a good goalkeeper. Would staying be your number one choice at Burnley, or or have you reached a point that you want to play every week? Well, I've, I've said I, I want to play football. As, as a goalkeeper, you want to play as many games as possible because it's only experience that counts. Um, so for me to go back to Burnley to play in Premier League next year is probably very unlikely. Um, so if I get the chance somewhere else, I wouldn't say no. But if Burnley uh, turned around and said, yeah, we want to want to have you in the squad and maybe be a second keeper or whatever, that's a different conversation. But again, if Accrington Afrin- Con- comes next season and say we want to bring you in, then... Yeah, I will probably say yes to that as well. So, so I, I don't know what will happen next season for sure. Um, so I take it game by game and day by day. Um, and uh, we will probably see what happens next year.